Good morning, this is Mountain Grand, and I'm giving you a brief tour of my greenhouse. I gave you a winter tour. The greenhouse looks very different right now. This is spring of 2021. This is overflow from the greenhouse. I've run out of room in the greenhouse. Walking inside, you can see the shelves aren't bare like they were in the winter. I have zinnias, tomato plants, squash plants, squash plants of a different kind. There's some celery, arugula, parsley, more zinnias, more tomatoes. I have some lacinato, dinosaur kale, have nasturtiums. They're used as a trap plant for squash beetles or squash bugs. More tomatoes. This is the tower that I had growing throughout the winter. Most everything in here was planted last fall and is now serving as trap plant for the aphid invasion in the greenhouse. Down here, I'm getting an early start on green beans for the garden. This is a stackable system where you buy the individual trays from Dollar Tree. Up here, we have more tomato plants. I have everything from heirlooms to cherry tomatoes. This is my favorite, the Kellogg's breakfast tomato. Here we have lemon cucumbers. They're my favorite cucumbers to grow. You pick them when they're about the size of a tennis ball. They're yellow. And all you have to do is give them a good scrub and they're ready to eat, no peeling necessary. Now in the background, I know that you're hearing roosters. They are very happy to be out and about this morning. So they're going to tell you all about it. Down here I have Amish paste tomatoes. I have a Coreopsis that's trying its best to continue growing. I had to pull it out of a flower bed last week. Over here I have pepper plants. I have some romaine lettuce that's gone out of control. Most everything in here really needs to be put out in the garden, but they say to wait until after Mother's Day here on our mountain but I don't believe I'm gonna be able to do that because things are taking over quickly. Hidden in behind my work chair here is a tray of purple basil with a few green basil plants. I have more zinnias, more squash plants. These are winter squashes here. More purple basil. This is the parsley plant that made it through the winter here in the greenhouse and it didn't read the garden books so it kept on growing. Here I have smaller plants that haven't been put in individual pots. I've got some marigolds, some currant tomatoes, some chamomile, a few hollyhocks, I have some milkweed, different kinds of melons, these are miniature melons that will be trellised. This is lettuce that grew throughout the winter. It's looking kind of bare right now because this was our lunch the other day. I have some Swiss chard up on the back shelf here. I have some seeds that are there to sprout. There are mm, plastic egg cartons. I have romaine lettuce. We can come out here and pick lettuce just about any time of day for our salads. I have spinach growing, more lettuce. This is the other parsley plant that made it through the winter. I've got a kale, um, excuse me, Swiss chard here that made it through the winter. More small tomato plants. This is Malabar spinach. I grew this last summer, thought I'd never get it to grow. It just wouldn't germinate until I found out you have to smash the seeds before you plant them. But this is the bucket it was growing in last year with a makeshift trellis where strings run up to the top of the greenhouse. And it decided it's coming back this spring.
I'm gonna move outside the greenhouse right now. You may be wondering about all the zinnias. My good friend Kathy grew some zinnias last year that I had started in my greenhouse. And they were so beautiful. She kept sending me photos of them. I had a few in my garden, but this year I've gone a little zinnia crazy. This is my high intensity lettuce bed. In the right hand corner, you'll see where the ants decided that they would make their home. But the lettuces are growing fine. I've got about 10 different kinds. This is the lacinato kale that grew in the greenhouse over the winter. I have here orange mint. You'll see my mint is in flower pots. I don't want it taking over my garden. Along here, I have a row of walking onions. I'm allergic to onions, can't eat onions, but I have family members that can. We have here Romanesco, a row of that in front of walking onions. Coming back here, something that y'all may recognize. Some people say it's weed. Folks here in the South say it's poke salad. We move on along here. We've got some orange mint here. It makes great tea. And we have the sage from last year. It made it through the winter and is now going to seed. Hidden in behind my greenhouse are my totally out of control raspberry bushes. These bushes were transplanted down here to Tennessee years ago by my dad. He'd actually, when we lived in Michigan, given some to our friend Aunt Clara. And Aunt Clara gave him some back a few years later and they got transplanted down here to Tennessee. Something that we're having to deal with right now is things falling from the trees, pollen, Everything has been yellow. Yesterday I went to the mailbox. Our house is about half a mile from the mailbox, and I had to turn on the windshield washers to be able to see to drive to the mailbox. A little something that y'all may never have seen grow before is asparagus. It just comes out of the ground like this, and Right now, the weeds are growing in it. I hate to pull weeds this time of year because I'm afraid I'll just disturb their roots and wipe them out. Here I have arugula. It's one of my new favorites. It's kind of a spicy flavor, but it's great for in salads. My roosters keep going. I'm going to have to do a video of them because they just think they're the stars of the show. This is just a variety of lettuces that I've planted. But I hope you've enjoyed this brief tour and I hope that you will be inspired to grow a little bit of a garden in your own space, however large or small it is. Y'all take care.